Okay, I've launched Maya um, and let's set up our workspace now for our next assignment, which is going to be an abstract sculpture and we're going to be adding color. Um, this will be very similar to our last assignment in that you'll be using polygon uh, tools or polygon primitives um, and there'll be more there for you to use this time um, as well as adding some colors uh, to the primitives and background. So we're going to be setting up a background. But first we need to set up our workspace. Um, I've launched Maya and what you can see here is this menu or little pop-up window that comes up with new features. So you can um, you know, actually shut this off to not show at startup. So you, if you unclick it here, it won't come up again. But you could leave highlight what's new because you, know, you kind of want to know if they've added any new uh, tools to Maya. Uh, so I'll go ahead and click OK. Um, one thing I want to say that um, whenever you use Maya and you make changes to your uh, menu, um, any of the menus that you're using or you open any windows up, um, the next time you launch Maya, it typically comes up to that same uh, workspace that you were uh, using. And so therefore any uh, windows that you did add will stay and remain. So what I want to do right now is I want to show you how I have this workspace. This is going to be our workspace of working with uh, our next assignment. Um, so uh, you can see here that I have the outliner tool is already open. Um, and I'm in modeling standard up here. And that's what I want to use is modeling standard. And I also want to have outliner open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset this current space just to uh, let you know how to reach that tool for the outliner. So I'm going to reset current workspace and this will bring me back to the standard uh, modeling standard workspace. As you can see here my outliner tool has disappeared. Um, so to add that we want to go to Windows and then click on Outliner and that will add it here to the side. Now another thing I want to mention about the workspace is that if you click on the name of the tool uh, on any of these expanding uh, menu bars, it'll uh, uh, collapse for you. So it actually adds more space here for you to work at. So even over here, the modeling toolkit and the um, attrib uh, attribute editor, if I click on it, it'll uh, expand that or, or, or collapse that so that again you have a larger space to work on. So in the next video I'll show you how to start composing uh, your abstract sculpture. Um, before that though uh, there is one other thing so if you don't want to always have to come in here and set up this outliner to appear what you can do is go up to workspace and then save this workspace. So save current workspace as, right? And that'll allow you to uh, put a name to this. So if you want modeling standard, and then you could always add your name to the end of this, and that will now be your workspace, your own personal workspace. So if I click over to modeling standard, uh, yes, my outliner will disappear. But if I click over back to workspace and select uh, modeling standard Alex. There's my outliner. Okay, so that's a really good way to save your um, your workspace the way that you want to uh, customize it and not have to deal with having to reopen um, any tools that you need. So again, in the next video, we'll start composing our abstract sculpture.